showing so much support to all the other episodes so for this episode we're gonna make it about you guys your relationship problems and how to fix it and let's see what everybody got to say about it because you know we got a mouthful to talk about today first of all shout out to our sponsor Nikki Mar She's dropping new products mm -hmm. every other week. So dope. Make sure y'all check it out. I know y'all see my hair. I know y'all see mine. I got a different do. And it's growing. It's so long. And come and get your hair because you're bald headed, okay? So. Oh, I said, I miss about them. And they're bald headed. So make sure you go and get the products. Also, y'all see, I don't have no makeup on today. Still a bad bitch. You already know that because we don't stress. We live and we're blessed. Don't be out here stressing because you're gonna get some dark circles under your eyes. You're gonna get some wrinkles that should have came in 15 years. And make sure y'all keep it cute. So today theme, we're gonna talk about relationships. I'm single again, y'all. For how long? We'll see. But right now I'm single again. You know, I had to put myself first because <sighs> yeah, we're not going to talk about it, but yes, I put myself first, and now I'm going through a heartbreak. A heartbreak. So, I'm going to give y'all tips on how to heal, and how to not be overthinking, and how not to text back. Because let me tell you something, the first two days I was sending about 50 back-to-back -back texts. So... But like they say, if you don't send them text messages, that means you never care. Exactly. So just know I cared, but it's all right because I learned how to stop caring. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about it. And we're going to let y'all know how you can stop caring so you can get back in the streets and do your big one. <laughs> so, BB, I'm going to ask you this question. To be toxic or not to be toxic? Not be toxic. It's not cute. It's not healthy. It's actually cringe. And it's like, gives me the ache. And you're being toxic? Yeah, at your big age. Why? They don't hear you. You gotta say it louder. It's not cute being toxic. At your big ass age, why Why do you feel like you should be like toxic? So what do healthy. you what do you consider toxic? Like mind games and manipulation and just trying to like use that reverse psychology to like make that person fall in love with you and then not knowing and not knowing hmm? like where y'all stand yeah and not Stop shaking your leg oh and not and 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 just leading a person on not really fucking with them but putting up this facade that you do just so you can have the juice and the hose okay so I, I, like toxic to me let's go a little more deeper right so those are the mind games we'll speak on how to know if you're being tricked or not being tricked right now toxic to me would be considered like starting arguments for no reason um talking disrespectfully when you're mad at them i feel like at some point in your relationship you should always talk to your partner with respect no matter how angry they get you because Where's the respect if I'm here cursing you out every time? Or, oh, well, I don't give up about you. I don't care. You're this. I don't, I feel like you don't talk to, we don't talk to our friends like that. And our friends be pissing us off. So why is it you can all of a sudden talk to your person that you sleep with, you love with, eat with, and just violate them because you're toxic? Me, I'm not into toxicness, but I am into given what I'm receiving. Reciprocation. Absolutely. So for example, with me, if you start calling me out my name, I'm going to call you out yours. Mm -hmm. If you like start playing with me, I'm going to play with you. But I learned that's not going to heal you in the end because everything becomes spiteful. Everything comes becomes a tick for tack. 
So that's one thing. Now, okay, so that we're not into toxicness. So if you're in a relationship and you just heard these things and you can relate, guess what, my love? You're in a toxic relationship and only you can free yourself from it. Get out of it. Exactly. Or build boundaries because maybe they were toxic too and now they thought that was love. Because a lot of people, I started realizing, they like to mistake love for toxicness. Oh, he loved me. That's why he violates me so much. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, he loves me. That's why. He's just posting that because he's trying to get me mad. Mm -hmm. Like... He not texting back because he wants me to pop up on him, like... Right. <laughs> oh, like, he, he hung up. I'm on the phone, y'all arguing, he hangs up, but you calling and you know this person is on their phone, but they, you're calling 40 times. That's all terrible, and I'm telling y'all right now, until you break that, y'all not gonna be happy, right? Now, on top of being toxic, right, how do you know when you're in a healthy relationship? And you get googly eyes, you get butterflies, you just be happy to be around that person and just like smiling and just in good spirits and everything is just so like white roses and picket fences and dogs and happy. And do you ever think it'd be too good to be true or do you be afraid? Because I'm going to be honest, me, I'm afraid of that. Can you accept it? I, right. Can you no, accept it? No, because I'm not going to lie. Every time things is going good. I'd be the one to fuck it up because I'm like, okay, maybe you're doing something on the side to where like you're, you're trying to cover up for something. Yeah, overthink. So I feel like you're trying and to cover up for something. Right. Okay, see? No, me with the way I handle too good to be true, I don't handle it because I'm too busy for focusing on the toxicness. Yeah, toxic. Right? So. I could go through something with somebody and then not go through it with this person and with this person. I just feel like I try to nitpick things to find. I think it's more so we don't heal. We don't heal. So therefore, we just bring in everything from the past into our current relationships and then it's just like a domino effect with everybody and it's just like it's just ongoing 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 it just never stops so therefore we won't find happiness and we're going to continue with that toxic trait because we're not fully healed from our past relationships so how do you know when you're healed you don't sound like you're healed um I mean, I've never been in relationships, so I don't know. Okay, touche. He's been in situationships. Right. So, I've been in relationships. And to heal, right, we're going to speak on mm -hmm. healing now. And mm -hmm. how you know if you healed or how do you know if you're bringing those past traumas to the new relationship. Number one, I don't feel like I bring my past trauma to my new relationships. I give everybody a fresh start. So, first of all, y'all got to start there. Fresh start. Even to the people that are in toxic relationships. If you forgave your person, stop bringing it up. I feel like, for example, if you've been in a, in a situation with your person and they cheated on you and you took them back, you have absolutely no right to keep mentioning it. Because you already know what this person is capable of. So I feel like if they cheated on you once, they will do it again. But your boundary is what makes them do it or not to do it. For example, if somebody cheats on you, instead of you crying and, oh my God, why would you do it? Trying to find a reason, except that they did it. Stand on business, leave, heal, and if then you decide to take them back, now you know, I'm, at least this person, oh, I'm gonna leave them for six, seven months. I'm gonna stop talking to you, I'm gonna move on, and now, if I decide to get back with you, that's on me. Mm -hmm. That's one with him. And that's number one with him. Forgive. Don't forget, but forgive if you're going to decide to stick with this person. Another way of healing, in my defense and my advice that I could say is, you can't overthink. And you can't assume that the next person that never did nothing to you will do something to you. Even if you have hardcore like gut feeling like I know this person is cheating on me if you don't have proof you can't move on it so do you feel like once a cheater always a cheater yeah 
Hell yeah. So you think a person can't oh. change? Oh. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I think once a cheater, always a cheater, I is because you have cheating mm -hmm. habits in you. Mm -hmm. I agree. You cheated on me without even knowing me for real. Like, you couldn't even be loyal for two months. No, no. What if y'all been married and stuff and then you just, they cheat? All right, we've been together for mad long, like six, seven years, and you decide to cheat the seventh, You we'll, we'll be all right. We'll get past that. We'll be get past that. It took you That's se toxic. It took you seven years to do me dirty. I can respect that. I can respect that. It took you seven years of loyalty, and you finally slipped up. So you don't overthink, like, okay, well, like, what if, like, they've been itching to, like, they've been wanting to do this? They and, probably and, did been wanting to do it, but you and, held it down for seven years. And you're you going to be okay with still sticking around with that person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest. It's been seven years. You was loyal to so I've been in some real messed up relationships. See, this is, this is the thing. I've been in grimy relationships that... I could be with you for three months and you done greased me and then started taking me serious. But the whole time I was taking you serious and you was playing me in my face the whole time. You just showed me you have no ounce of loyalty. Not for two months, not for three months, not even for a year. Respect. If you or respect, because respect is the next one. Or respect to not cheat on me. So if you did mess up six, seven years later. It would be all right. That's all right. You, you, I'm not doing it right. What are they wrong? I'm going to start like questioning myself. And this is going to be the next topic. Self-affliction, self-hate, and self-like calling yourself out. Like, damn, what did I do wrong? What could have I, I did different? What should have I done? Because a lot of us, we're not, we, we, it's not that we're in love with you. We're in love with what you could be. Or what you could become or potential. or potential or what we could be so once and then that's where all the replays you start replaying in your room are you crying and sad on your phone replaying memories replaying um the experience the pictures mm -hmm. and now you're thinking like damn maybe if i did this better he would enough maybe if i did this she would enough they would have done it regardless because it's not you that's just not that me. now if you're whack it's not it is you and what i mean by whack is if um is it, it what i mean by whack is if you sit here and like you know you're doing the bare minimum and this is mostly for men and women like if you know you don't as a woman you're not taking your man out as a woman we're not talking about like marriage right now we're talking about new relationships relationships like if you're somebody that seems like an extra bill I don't think, I think you should get cheated on. I mean, I feel like you shouldn't even be dating if that's, you know. Yeah, but people do. And then that's again like, where y'all mix up toxicness with love. Where y'all feel like, oh, even though, yeah, I'm broke and I don't have, because remember, you could be broke and still be great. Because it takes 50 cents to buy a little plastic rose and do a picnic in the dinner, an EBT, to go and buy sandwiches and Cold stuff. Ice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you still could create a vibe. So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't be out here doing the bare minimum and then surprised when somebody cheats on you. Not saying cheating is valid because you could leave the person. But maybe they don't want to leave. Maybe they want you to change. But somebody else is giving them the attention you're not giving them. I recommend everybody you leave first like I feel like you should break up with the person and you go do your own thing and then if you feel like all right now this person is doing the same thing I could be with this person stay with who you want to stay with I feel like you got to get to know that person get to know them and you know figure them out before even trying to proceed to the next step because if you don't know that person then it's like you just exactly. jumping into shit like and that's where respects come in guys so listen to how I'm giving you all these steps so we started with toxic what's toxic we went on to overthinking we went on to healing we went on to um basically the overthinking the assumptions now we're at respect if you don't respect your person and this goes with everybody respect is not given it's earned right so if you out here with somebody and you're disrespecting them because they're not answering the phone or you entitled because you haven't spoken to them in hours you start disrespecting them now oh why the f you not answering oh mm -hmm. like who you talking to respect 
is one of the biggest keys to a healthy relationship and a healthy way to move on because this theme is about relationships moving on and knowing when to let go you have to also you see how respect is earned and not given you got to respect yourself enough to understand why am i dealing with this mm -hmm. and now why do you think we put up with the toxicness is it that we don't respect ourselves I wouldn't say that. I would say we put up with it because we fuck with that person. Once we fuck with that person, we just learn their ways. And it's like, okay, well, it's expected. Like, you know? But that's making excuses. Exactly. And that's disrespecting yourself. Exactly. So you don't respect yourself? I mean, not... Not, not you, not, you, like, just yeah, in yeah, general. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know, I don't I haven't been in no relationship, so I can't speak on like you know. You, he been his, he got his stuff. I don't have no stuff. He got his stuff. I don't know. Personally, I had to come to a conclusion that you gotta love yourself and respect yourself way more than you love and fuck with that person. Of course. Because the more you don't, the more you're gonna put up with. And that's another thing y'all need to realize. How much have y'all been putting up with that is like, damn, my dad don't fuck with myself. I don't respect myself. I must not love me if I can let you do that to me. Because you got to think about it. If this was a friend or if this was a stranger, you going all for it. You going to violate. You going to sit here and, oh, this person, this, this person, that. But because it's someone you love or think you love because lust and you know we're going to hit lust next. Mm -hmm. And you can lust this person and you can think you love them. But the whole time, you loving them so much that you love yourself. That now, they don't, they don't respect you. They already didn't respect you. So that you respect yourself, but they already didn't respect you. To the point that they played you, they cheated, they hurt you. You forgave them. You stood again. But you haven't made no boundary to make them change anything because i do i am a big believer that people do change i feel like back to the once a cheater always a cheater once you're a cheater you're a cheater it's like once you're a thief you're a thief <laughs> that's not true that's not true sorry yeah yeah that's, that's not, not true. true that's not because true because there's some people that could bring out the best version of you after there's destroying some, you that's not your person if you find someone that can bring out the best version of you and you love the person you are with that person, you're not going to do anything to compromise. And if you're self-aware, you're going to notice your destructive behavior and you're going to realize. That's why you got to bring in mindfulness into this behavior. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. seen that yet with me. With me, I'm y'all know I'm always speak to y'all with experience. I feel... I don't know, cause I'm really play out here. Like I, like I look at it like, if I won't do you like that, I shouldn't be okay with you doing me like that, cause you don't got no basic home training. Nobody taught me to be loyal. Nobody taught me to have. It's, it's in your nature to be loyal. So what, what what's in your nature may not be in the next person's nature. Mm -hmm. So. But it's the same nature. Not it's necessarily. Still, really? Not necessarily. You I you so. you grew up you know closed in and you know like this all the people grew up like in the streets running right, around in front of everybody so you know the two lifestyles different but i feel other. being a good person and again it's my opinion and it's how i feel i feel like you either you you either choose to do good by a person or you either choose bad to do by a person or y'all just grow apart oh y'all grow apart right but if we're strangers and we came together because that's what you were saying in the beginning about leading me on. Maybe you just wanted to kill mm -hmm. or maybe you just wanted to experience a person. Those intentions is already making you a bad person because now you know I'm only in this because I need this. So I want this, right? To benefit from To benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's like I said, whether it's the experience, whether it's I want to be with this girl, but I know I don't want to be loyal. I feel like a person that's player is going to keep it play up all the time. Like, you're not going to just go and tell somebody, oh, I just want to do this with you, and then after that, we're done. But you're not going to do the lead on. And those are the red flags I feel you got to be mindful of. And this is why I go back to the, 
just if you're capable of doing it yes even though you might not do it again to me because you learned to rock with me that don't means you won't do it to somebody else still after still cheating on you're saying that that person's just capable of it but that doesn't we're all capable of, of doing, doing a lot of things everything. Mm -hmm. exactly so once a cheater always a cheater no you're putting labels on it just because you're capable of something doesn't mean you're going to continue doing it a person that ate meat their whole life decides to go vegan that doesn't mean they're a meat eater for the rest of their life they changed and decided to go vegan so vegan and food with what you put in your body and what you do to a person a person is going you're sharing that energy i just feel if you meet a person and you don't know them for real and you cheat or you play them or you do something weird for no reason can you change yes because i said people can change are you capable of doing it again absolutely and you already did it so I feel like you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. That's just my opinion. I'm stating it. I feel it's like me. I've never cheated on somebody first, right? Mm -hmm. So if I cheat on you, that's my nature and being toxic because you did it to me. So now I want you to feel how you did me. And you stayed after they cheated, and then you wanted them to feel how you felt. Yeah, but remember, I'll be on some like I'm single and then I'm going to do me and I'll make it clear. I'll post a video with another guy or something and now and you know what. back I, to them? Maybe, yeah. If it works out with the guy, absolutely. I will go back. Yes, I will go back. But now you know what I'm capable of after you do me dirty first. Mm -hmm. It's not like I did you dirty and asked for your forgiveness and then came back and not cheated up no more. So... But why got to be a tiff tat thing? Why you can't just like... Like completely just like block them out and leave them alone. Cause I ain't that grown yet. Cause she's toxic. That's I what I'm saying. She's I am not that grown yet. Now, am I going to be that grown? Absolutely. Now, will I always be a tick for tacker? No. But why? Because I'm no longer gonna find relationships where I get cheated on. Instead, if I get cheated on first, I'll just leave instead of being a tick for tacker. But people who cheat first. I feel like Does you're only, you, you just, that's your nature. Mm -hmm. That's your nature. You know to cheat and what's going to teach you not to cheat is a person leaving the person completely and but it, are they capable enough to be self-aware like you said and to know like, damn, I lost a good one. I don't think people ever understand they lost a good one. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever yeah. lost a good one? Me? Mm -hmm. No. I lost a good one before. Mm. I was a little toxic. See, that was around when I was toxic. Mm. Was but, okay. but the reason I lost him was, this was years ago too, by the way. It's nobody now. But the reason I lost him was because I allowed my past trauma to intervene with my next relationship. So that's when I learned. Like, all right, Ash, you lost a good one because you being toxic. Like, the person blocked me. He still got me blocked. What was that? It's wrong with you. <gasps> Roy, you do not F with me. Mm -hmm. Oh no. And he was a good one. He was a very good one. But was he? He was great. You think so? Yeah. Oh. He was great. It only lasted like two months. Mm -hmm. But oh. it was just two months, I know. But to me the reason why I feel like you were great besides what you know <laughs> is only because he, I feel like he only started feeding off my energy. Like, look, one time, listen to this story, right? One time we in the car, I actually called you. That's the funny part. Remember? We in the car, we leaving an event, we leaving his event. He invited me to like his, like a family grand opening, whatever. So he invites me to the event. As we leaving, he goes, I'm thinking I was gonna stay the night with him. So we, we made it clear like, yo, you gonna chill with me, ha uh ha. -uh. So as we in the car, he's like, Oh, um, I'm going to just take you home. I'm like, all right, bet. I ain't overthink it. The first thing I did, once he says I'm going to take you home, I call this guy. I'm like, yo, gang, you on the block in front of him. So while he's driving, I'm like, yo, gang, you on the block? He like, yeah. I'm like, I'm about to pull up. Uh -uh. Yo, I hang up. Son just looks at me like, you're mad disrespectful. I'm like, how am I? So I'm really oblivious, though. I'm completely oblivious. Like, I'm like, how am I disrespectful? He's like, you're not even going to be like, why I'm not, you're not coming with me? Like, 
well, you're like, you gonna call another guy up in my face? I'm like, first of all, this is my best friend. And two, you just say you're taking me home. Oh, but I was just playing. I just, you know you was coming to my crib. I, I, Sassy ass nigga. Mm. Like, feel me? And now, that, but I also feel like that's a little narcissistic. Because it's know, like, like. You want to be chased. like Right. You exactly. Grown ass, you a grown ass <laughs> man. Like, what the fuck is you? What? Thank you. You're supposed to be like, nigga, you're not going nowhere. Stay, Thank sit you. Sit your ass down. You come so, to me. So, this goes back to being toxic, where people people overthink for people too much. I know he probably thought I was going to be like, no, I want to come with you. He's a pick me. Mm. Pick me. Mm. Choose me. Love, Love me. T-shirts <laughs> for mm. sale. <laughs> Yo, facts. Right. Yo, so... Me, I'm not like that. If anybody around me that knows Ash, I'm real straightforward. Oh, babe, what's wrong with you? Nothing? Oh, hi. Right. Mm-hmm. What are you reading later? Oh, so you're not going to ask me what's wrong? Hell no. Because you said nothing's wrong with you. How are you making me overthink and chase and pull your teeth? If something's wrong, be a grown-up and be like, yo, Ash, I feel all kinds of way. So that's another thing, communication. You understand, like... If you listen to all these things I just put you on with and you take it in and you start loving on yourself, you start respecting yourself and you start seeing the signs and knowing like, all right, I make yourself aware like I'm in a toxic relationship. You can either save the relationship or you can either leave it. You feel me? And honestly, to sum it all up, I feel with your person you should have great communication with them. And you know, some people, they're not really confrontational, or some people got pride, or some people don't really know how to communicate with their other person. And that's why, going back to what you were saying about learning your partner is very important. It's like, for example, me, my last partner, he straight told me like, Ash, I ain't gonna lie, I'm toxic. I'm toxic, I don't know, you know, I don't trust nobody. Fuck bitches, I don't care. This, this, and that. I chose to accept it because I could respect you at least telling me though. Like you putting me on. Like you told me, you warned me that you're toxic. So whatever happens now, if I choose to stay with you and hold you down, even through the toxicness that you are, as long as I don't turn toxic with you, I feel like I gotta respect it. Why? Because you told me that. That's like me. I don't trust nobody. If you meet me and I tell you, well, I don't trust you, you can't be mad in three months and be like, well, actually, you still don't trust me. No, bro, it's not about you. I don't, sometimes I don't even trust myself. So you can't be mad at someone telling you the truth. And you learn to take the truth. Sometimes, too, like, for example, don't assume. Don't assume. Learn to take the truth. If somebody's showing you their actions, you can't assume they don't love you or, oh, this person don't love me. Look how he treats me. No, because this person probably treats themselves bad. They probably treat their family bad. They probably treat their own friends bad. You can't be entitled to feel like, oh, you treated me bad. I know you don't like me. You don't rock with me. When whole time, they probably don't know how to like you. They probably don't know how to rock with you because they already told you they don't really mm -hmm. like anybody, to be honest. So. I got a question for you, guys. Not to cut you off. So say you fuck with someone, right? Mm-hmm. And you ask them, oh, um, so are you fully healed? And mind you, they trying to get to know you. Y'all on the phone every single day. I was there. <laughs> okay. And then you ask them and then they say, honestly, I don't know. So let me ask you something because I didn't ask it earlier. When you say healed, do you mean healed within yourself or healed from your last relationship? Well, the topic of the conversation was relationship. Exactly. So, so. healed from his last relationship. Honestly, little clap for the honesty. Little ass clap. You can't even hear it. Little ass clap for, well, yeah, I'm not healed. But big red flag because that means you still feel for your ex. You still have that attachment. Absolutely. According to them, they don't, they don't have attachment. They just say... No, you do because you haven't healed from what they did. I cut them off. That's that just went like that. Yeah. I cut them off. Yes, for sure. See, personally, but. I could, I understand that because, again, this is where you got to respect and love yourself enough 
So no, like I'm not doing. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. Although the the excuse was, um, I I'm Bless honest you. with you. Bless you. I'm honest with you. I could have lied to you. Next, moving forward, I'm gonna start lying. Yeah. Bye. See you now. Bye. He's he's. Even if, like I said, he's trying to join your toxic wave now. Because you wasn't toxic, well, you wasn't toxic for saying what you said. Feel me? Because he responded. I don't, can I say how you responded? Who? You. <laughs> so once he said, I'm not him, he's like, oh, yep, you see? <laughs> you see, this is why. And now that's why the guy felt like, oh, well, maybe I'm alive. But you see, the guy is now playing himself because it's like, so it's, it's that quick for you to lie to me? Like you couldn't just respect that, I don't respect that, you not held and you try to talk to me instead of healing? Mm -hmm. That's enough, that's the, this, and that's where we're gonna leave this. And that was, okay, yeah, that was a good You understand? One. That was a good one. That's where we're gonna leave this. Mm -hmm. If you're not healed, mm -hmm. stop coming into people's lives with your nasty baggage. If you're not, if you don't know how to love, go look it up. Practice how to love and then try to love. Don't sit here and practice on real human beings with real feelings because people are nutcases out there. And they, I know they see them cases. Mm -hmm. The cases and things that happen when you hurt somebody that loves you. Fatal attraction. Fatal attraction. Shout out to Fatal Attraction. Go watch that movie, classic. Period. So, heal first. Love yourself first. Respect yourself. Put yourself first. And everything else will be a breeze. Because the minute this person comes with a red flag, you're going to either choose to deal with it or not. And it will break you. Because we're still humans. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you choose to deal with somebody that's toxic, don't be surprised when they do real toxic stuff. Take it to the chin and don't lose yourself. Do not be spiteful. Do not... Go and backtrack to an ex because a new person hurt you. Double all of them and heal and you're going to find love. And don't try to, um, how you say that? Don't, um, don't try to fuck over your partner because they started fucking on someone and then now you trying to retaliate by fucking with someone exactly. else. Exactly. It's like, look, me right now, and this is where we're going to leave it because I haven't told y'all about me today. But look, it's like right now, yes, I'm single, but do I want to date? No. And the reason I don't want to date is because I've always been dating. And personally, this time around, I really wanted it to work. And I'm not surprised it didn't because I kind of knew it would have been a little bit toxic. But at least I'm standing on business. I'm not going back to exes. I'm not just moving on. I'm not just going to go and give up this golden pom pom for no reason. And... At least the guy that has his trust issues, he's finally going to realize, like, oh, no, she, all right, she's not the same. And never am I ever. I hope these tips will help you move on or make you heal or let you know if you're stuck in a toxic relationship so and you can get you out are, of it. get the fuck out. And please. if you are, pack it up. Get up out of here and save yourself. You will be good. Okay. On the next episode. <laughs> Be ready, tune in, because episode 6 is on the way. We're going to give y'all some tricks, okay?